learn how to design today's geometric vector in under five minutes. So let's waste no more time today, guys, and let's jump right into Adobe Illustrator. So let's get cracking by pressing M for the rectangle tool and then click and drag while holding down the shift key to create a perfect square. Now we're going to briefly work in the transform window by rotating the square by 45 degrees and then changing its height values to 60%. This is going to result in a diamond shape for your design. Now hold down the Alt Option key and then click and drag to duplicate the diamond below while holding down Shift to make sure the new object is perfectly in line. Now place it exactly on the lower anchor point like so. Press A for the Direct Selection tool and then click and drag the anchor points like I'm doing here on screen. You basically just want the new shape to cover the left hand side of the design. Now select the most recent shape and then press Command or Control C to copy it and then Command or Control F to paste the copy right over the top. We're going to then reflect the new shape like so before moving it while holding Shift so it remains fixed on a horizontal plane. Next, we're going to add some color to the diamond shapes. So all you need to do is select one, then double click the color palette in the bottom left of the screen, or you can actually use a gradient field as well, it's up to you. But when you do have your three shapes filled with color, select everything and then press Command or Control G on a Mac or Control G on a PC. This is going to group everything together. Now again, using the Alt Option key, duplicate the selection perfectly off to one side. Do this again so you end up with four cubes and then duplicate that row down below also. Now I suggest pressing Command or Control Y to enter into outline mode, as you can then perfectly align your shapes into the exact position. Outline mode allows you to be able to see the vectors when they perfectly meet with precision. So go ahead and build up the design so you end up with three rows of four cubes on each row. And yeah, it is probably best to do all of this in outline mode. But when you have done it, press Command or Control Y to exit out of outline mode. So we now need to commit to the final step in today's geometric design. Select a black stroke in the color palette with no fill and then select the Polygon Shape tool. Click and drag using this tool, but while you do, hold down Shift and then press the up and down arrows until you reach a three-sided shape. You can rotate the triangle around, but hold down Shift so it fits in a perfect position. So after you have your triangle, select all of the cubes and then press Command or Control 2 to lock them. Now bring your triangle onto your design and attach the top of the triangle to the very top of the cube here. Now if you've done everything correctly up until now, you can then just simply adjust the corners of the triangle on the bottom using the direct selection tool like so. And you should have a perfect cube in the middle of the triangle. Now finally, press the Alt or the Option key as well as Command or Control and then 2 on your keyboard to unlock the cubes. Or you can just simply come up to Object and Unlock at the top. Now select everything and create a clipping mask. And there is your geometric vector shape completed in under 5 minutes. Now I've got lots of really awesome and useful content lined up for next week and I'm actually going to try out a new format where after the tutorial's finished, I'm gonna give a quiz or a kind of test to see if you've been following along and if you're actually learning from my videos. And it's really awesome to see you guys learning techniques and skills in Adobe Illustrator, as well as graphic design in general. And this channel is growing really well. But if you do wanna help me out, just share my videos on social media or to a fellow designer. Have a great day and until next time, design your future today. Peace.